Michael, are you ready for this? What do you got for me, Flanagan? <laughs> well, you get to throw all your bowling balls. Well, about a third of them, right? I think I got all of the reactive ones that I would take to a tournament, so I think we're in pretty good shape. So right. I'm going to give you four practice balls over here. Let's go over here. You're going to get to throw 32 shots today. We're going to see how many strikes you can get on this pattern. One lane, how many strikes you can get, and I'm going to give you four, four practice balls on this. And you can use any balls you want, but you can only use them once at a time uh, in the practice. So you can't throw more than two practice balls with one ball. And then once you use a ball in the competition, that ball's put away. You can't use it anymore. Okay, Mike, you get four shots. You can use four different balls for your practice here. Take us through the process of which one you're going to go with first. Uh, I'm going to take kind of my old faithful first to get a shot on that. That'll give me an idea of what uh, the other ones are going to do. And then I'm going to throw a shot with a big A sim. And then I'll grab a benchmark. And then the last shot, I'll reserve a, a game plan for that. I'm going to start here with baby blue. Somewhere around the 8-9 board and get a feel for what's out there. We got plenty of hooks right in the second arrow, so that's good. So blue hammer, practice shot number one. I'm gonna go to uh, global reality. I just absolutely love this ball. This one I'm gonna curve a little bit where I would throw it in league. Mike, Mike, we do have a rule here. Only one ball on the ball return at a time. <laughs> I'm the guinea pig for these rules, I see. Now I'm gonna take a big boom at ball, this exotic gem. This is the most angular big A sim I've ever thrown. You wanna grab like some Aberlon or some True Cut pads, go ahead and take the services down with that much back end reaction. I can give you an hour to go ahead and change all the services. <laughs> Now I need to see, I need to see what kind of hold we got. I'm gonna go with the Venom Shock. It's such a great benchmark. They just keep making this thing and it is keep selling. So we're trying to feel out some hold here. Just left the third arrow and kind of keep it kind of tight. All right, I think it's gonna be like bowling league for me. So we'll start out with the urethane. Just get them out of the way. Since I put them in the 32, I gotta throw them. Can we get a prediction? How many strikes will you throw out of the 32 today? I think I'm gonna have a target of 21. I think you can do better than that. I think you're gonna get 25. Yeah, that's gonna put me at about 750. I'd say that's my average. I think that is your average. Here we go. I'm gonna start with the pitch black. I think the last time this ball came out of the bag was at the Tournament of Champions. I think we were bowling on like 31 milliliters of oil. So I had a boatload of surface on this thing. I'm just gonna throw a rifle up the second arrow. Just frozen. I love urethane when it does that. I would never throw urethane on a house shot though, ever. Next up, the new purple or pink pin, purple hammer. Left of the pitch black, yep. Money, two out of three. Who, who can't beat you in this building? Mike Shady cannot beat me here. Old Kentucky purple, made in Hopkinsville, so it is special to me. Same alignment as that new one. Really good shot. Oh no, can we make it? Yeah, why don't you, why don't you try to make it? Got a pop. Oh, next up, UC3. I call it neutered reactive. It's definitely not pure urethane. Gets a little bit more back end and it's uh, asymmetric. So now we're kind of getting into league territory. Got it out to dry. Uh, neutered reactive, it doesn't kick sideways, so. All right, Mike, so far you're three out of five. Three out of five so far, not a bad start with urethane. Yeah, that's uh, 60%. You know, if I'm throwing urethane in a tournament and I'm 60% strike percentage, things are going well. A little older reality here. Yeah. That's gotta be the older one. Now I'll throw the newer one. I should be able to move two left and get it to circle a little bit more. What was that? Okay, we have found the cliff. Ball number seven. This one's discontinued, but boy, was it a good one. RSTX1. Lift. Just laid there. So we call it the Rolling Meadow Killer. Yeah, this is a redemption hybrid. Mike Shady finally drilled one, and I think within the evening he's written the trash can. So I went out and got out of the trash can and plugged it for myself. And this is the ball. Ball is so good in this building. Missing out, Shades. Next ball, uh, brutal collision. Mike, you're seven for ten. You're seventy percent right now. What's up next? Reality check. I think this ball was a little bit of a sleeper. Oh, 
Oh. Eight for 11, and you still got some of your favorite toys left. Yep, now we're getting into a first motive ball. This Jackal, I'm a big fan. For a strong ball, it's real controllable. It doesn't do anything crazy, so. Hit, like it. All right, what do we got here? Envy Tour. Well, we put this in the benchmark category for sure. Got it right into the and nice and smooth. That's what we like to see out of benchmark balls right there. All right, another benchmark, the dark web. Quite a bit earlier, controllable. Should be in the neighborhood of that Envy Tour, I would think. Oh, just a pinch high flush. Venom Shock. It's a great benchmark piece. EJ Tackett just loves this thing. What do you say you drilled like 26 of them or something? This is the last ball on rack number one. But this purple reactive by Hammer, just a really good piece. Higher rep player is going to love this. Nice and smooth off the end of the pattern. Yeah, time. nothing real crazy and a little bit cleaner than the ones that we've uh, thrown already, like the NV Tour and the Dark Web. A little bit cleaner on the lane, a little bit easier, but still a very controlled motion. Mike, you're 12 out of 16, 75%. Moving on to rack number two here, buddy. Phase two. This thing is so good. It looks like I blasted it with surface last time I used it. We may have to heat this one up a little bit to keep it online. I think that was my third phase two, and the one I'm gonna grab right now, I think was my fourth phase two. Always like to have uh, an old one and a fresh one in the bag. Old one, a little bit more control, not quite as early, and then, uh, you know, a fresh one to always have a fresh cover. You always need a fresh phase two in the bag. Yeah, this, uh, this is a Global Zen Soul. Really kind of a spinoff, I think, off of the phase two. A big fan of this ball. And it looks like up next, uh, old Axiom Solid. A taller pin, I think this one's five and a half. So this one should be just a little bit longer down the lane because of the layout. That's what we saw out of it. Phase five. I mean, it's a cleaner phase two. Genius idea by Storm. Just build a phase two and make a cleaner cover. Slap the 10 out, Mike. Yeah, I mean, just longer down the lane than a phase two. A little bit more pop in the back end, just perfect compliment, love it. That's going to uh, pretty much do it for what I call the, the main benchmarks. Now we're gonna get into the what I call the boom it balls. These are Pearl and uh, hybrid big A sims. This is a radical outer limits. Nice, nice clean cover to the front and uh, plenty of motor to get it back. That ball changes direction. That one gets up and goes. I want to kind of just move a couple balls around because I want to go from that one to this Black Widow 2.0 hybrid. Very similar motions. That one just a little tiny bit smoother. How in the hell do you know what every one of these balls is going to do? <laughs> this is unbelievable. Back in my tour days, I was probably drilling between 50 and 75 a year. You know, I know my preferred uh, range of RGs and differentials and, and layouts to go with. So a lot of the time I can kind of tell what they're going to do before I drill them. It only really takes me a couple shots to figure them out. The next up, Rotogrip Exotic Gem. Nothing covers more ground in the back end than this thing. Clean, responsive cover, big A sim. This is the daddy right here. I mean, that thing is up and goes. Next up is gonna be the altered reality followed by UFO alert. This altered reality, I've got uh, kind of a layout that most, I would say, amateurs wouldn't like unless they've got a lot of axis rotation. 30 by five and three quarter by 30 is it allows me to get left, get my hand around it without getting too sideways through the pins. Just a little bit cleaner down the lane than the exotic maybe and not quite as responsive, but UFO alert. 20 for 25, Mike. Right now you're at 80%. Good shot. I 
now we're getting into the uh, later in the day balls. Much cleaner covers. In general, these are gonna be my really high friction, you know, later in the day in a tournament when there's no re-oil or anything and you've gotta get in fourth, fifth, even sixth arrow. This is a Web MB. Yeah, that little sparkle, I think, gives it a little bit more traction too. All right, Mike, 22 for 27. And now we're just gonna keep basically getting a little bit weaker. Motor Supra, this is a really good ball for, for higher friction uh, surfaces and conditions. I got that way right into the dry. So I have a combination of these webs, the original web from Hopkinsville, and I have uh, one pin up and one pin down. Uh, I just love this thing, such great control. So pretty. I mean, it's it's black, blue, and purple. Any competitive bowler, weekend warrior, tour player, whoever. Black, blue, and purple, man, that's where it's at. Mike, I'm kind of getting sad. I don't know about you, but you've only got three shots left. And right now you're uh, 24 for 29. These balls that I'm going to are definitely not what I would be using in this scenario. It is not their time to play, but they're all good pieces, so we will let them play. I believe this is called Ripcord Flight. Clean and controlled, which is what you're looking for. The next one's gonna be the hustle line. Oh, this ball is so good. Oh, 26 for 31. The last shot, GB3 Pearl out of Kentucky. This is number five, drilled exactly the same way. I just have such a good relationship with this ball. I'm so glad I still have one on reserve. Thank you, that was a lot of fun. No, Mike, we're not over yet. Oh, we oh, got a special oh. guest. 27 for 32, that's incredible bowling. Lots of different motions. We got a bonus ball for you, Mike. Yeah. The world's lightest bowling ball, the two pounder. If you strike with this ball, you get three. So three X right here. All right, there should be a little track in them. Oh, I didn't even hit the head pin. Well, Mike, thanks for doing this challenge with me today. I enjoyed it. I don't think anybody's ever reviewed 32 bowling balls at one time. Yeah, I think this is a this is a good opportunity for me to go through my arsenal as well, kind of see what uh, what gaps need to build. I don't, I don't think I have any gaps, so I think we're in good shape. I, I just, think you got it covered. I think I just think I need tournaments to bowl. <laughs> you do you do need a few tournaments to bowl. I'll find you. Uh, Mike, again, thanks. Thank thanks, you, Mike. thanks for your time for this okay. one. And I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this one. We'll see you uh, on our next video down the road.